Welcome to my channel Solve Maths with Ease. Today we have a problem to solve. In this figure we have a quarter circle and we have a chord AB present in this quarter circle and this line segment AN intersects this chord at 90 degrees and touches at the boundary of this quarter circle and we need to find the radius of this quarter circle. You can pause the video if you want to give it a try. Continue watching the video for the solution of this problem. Okay, so let's start with the solution. First, we will join point B with point N to form a line segment BN. So here we have a better looking picture where we have joined point B with point N to form the line segment BN. So now let's focus on this triangle ABN. So this triangle is a right angle triangle where angle BAN is 90 degrees. So we can apply Pythagoras theorem on this right angle triangle. So let us recall the Pythagoras theorem. So Pythagoras theorem states that in a right angle triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Okay, so if we see in this triangle, line segment BN is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. So when we apply Pythagoras theorem on this triangle, we get BN square is equal to AB square plus AN square. So we have BN square is equal to 12 square because AB is equal to 12 and AN is equal to 5, so plus 5 square. So we have BN square is equal to 144 plus 25. So further if we solve we get BN square is equal to 169 and BN will be equal to the root of 169. So the value of BN will be 13. The value of BN cannot be negative because it's a length or a distance and it cannot be negative. So we have taken the positive value of the uh, root square value of 169 is plus 13. So we have the value of BN is equal to 13. So here you can see we have recorded the value of BN is equal to 13. Now what we will do is we will expand this quarter circle to form a full semicircle. And we will extend this line segment AN to meet at point C. As per angle property we know that angle present within a semicircle is a right angle. Hence when line segment AN is extended it will touch at the boundary point of the semicircle at point C. Since angle BAC is a right angle. So here we have a better looking picture now. Now if we focus on this triangle BNO and the triangle CNO as per SAS congruence property we can say that triangle BNO is congruent to triangle CNO because angle NOB is equal to angle NOC because both are 90 degrees and side BO is equal to side OC equal to the radius of this semicircle and we can see that side NO is common in both these triangles hence both these triangles are congruent. Hence we can say that NC will be equal to the side NB which will be equal to 13. Also this full length AC is equal to AN plus NC. So we have AC is equal to 5 plus 13. So we get AC is equal to 18. So here we have recorded the length of NC as 13 and the length of AC as 18. Now let us focus on triangle ACB. Now as this triangle ACB is a right angle triangle because we can see that angle BAC is 90 degrees we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. So the square of the hypotenuse the square of the hypotenuse BC square because BC is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle so BC square is equal to AC square plus AB square so we get we can write BC as equal to twice of the radius so BC is equal to 2R 
AC is equal to 18 plus and AB is equal to 12. So if we do the further calculation, we get 4R square is equal to 324 plus 144. So 4R square is equal to 468 and we get R square is equal to 468 divided by 4. So we get the value of R is equal to root of 117. If we further simplify this, we can say r is equal to root of 9 multiplied by 13. So we know that the root of 9 is 3, so we can, we get r is equal to 3 root 13. Hence, we have solved our problem and we have got the value of our radius r is equal to 3 root 13. If you have got any other solution to this problem, do post it in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe my channel for more interesting maths problem from my channel.